Welcome to JVR Industries. Today we're going to go over how to set up your retort bar assembly on your JVR VAC100 chamber vacuum sealer. We're going to cover basic setup, how to identify your retort bar assembly when trying to distinguish it between the normal standard seal bar assembly and the retort, and finally recommended cycle times for this bar for each type of bag. So right before you, you see these Mylar bags right here, the silver, and then the gold's the retort canning pouches. If you're looking for a supplier, we strongly suggest checking out topmylar.com. I'll put that in the links below. That's Pleasant Grove Farms. So go check that out. And then lastly, check out our new seal bar tape. It's manufactured in the USA. It's much more durable and long lasting. I'll also put the link in the description below. So let's go ahead and get into how to use your Retour bar assembly. Welcome back guys. So let's go ahead and start with basic setup and installation of the Retour bar assembly. So the standard seal bar assembly is what comes in your JVR VAC 100 chamber vacuum sealer. Go ahead and just put your hand in the center underneath and lift up and you're ready to install the retour bar assembly. So go ahead and grab that. Same thing, bag clip should be on the outside of the chamber and then just drop it in. Make sure you align the holes with the seal bar lift piston rods and you're set to go. Now we're fully installed. So now we're gonna go over basic identification between the retort bar assembly and the standard seal bar assembly that you come stock with your chamber vacuum sealer. The difference is in the heat strip, this metal strip that runs down the heart of your bar assembly. One is a flat six millimeter heat strip in the bar assembly, the standard seal bar assembly, and on the retort bar assembly, it's a three and a half millimeter concave. So one quick way of telling the difference is run your thumb or finger over the top of it. If it feels flat, you know it's the standard seal bar assembly heat strip, then you know it's the standard seal bar. And on this one, if it's got a little like nipple to it, then like a, a hill to it, then you know it's the concave, and that would be the retort bar assembly. Now the next way of identifying the retort bar assembly would be simply looking down the ends of your bar. So go ahead and put them down side by side and you'll see that one is much more narrow. The more narrow one would be your retort bar assembly because it's that three and a half millimeter. If you look on the end of your standard seal bar assembly, it'll be a little wider, it's a six millimeter. Okay, and the, the third and final way to identify a retort bar assembly is the most simple. It's just flip your bar over and you'll see this label, it says retort on it. We put this on every retort bar assembly that we sell. And the standard seal bar assembly will have no label at all. Now, if you're missing this label, the first two ways of identifying are quite vital because you won't have a label to help you identify your bar. So let's go ahead and move into the next subject of recommended cycle times on sealing your Mylar bags and retort canning pouches. So now we're gonna go over recommended cycle times on your retort canning pouches as well as your Mylar bags for your retort bar assembly. For a retort pouch, you're looking at 2.8 seconds for seal time and six seconds for the cool time. If you're talking a Mylar bag, the seal time will be 2.4 seconds and the cool time will be five seconds. Lastly, if you need help setting up those recommended cycle times for your seal bar assembly or your retour bar assembly and even vacuum times, check out the video above. And I'll also put a link below for recommended cycle times sheet for your VAC 100. So definitely review that, download it and print it. It's a really useful resource to have around the house. Now, as far as retort canning, if you guys have any questions regarding this process, JVR Industries does not proclaim any type of expertise in this process. We are purely vacuum packaging. So if you're getting into re retort canning in that process in general, we strongly suggest checking out the Facebook group below 
to try to get some feedback from others who are practicing this process. And then lastly, definitely check out topmylar.com. That's Pleasant Grove Farms. And feel free to reach out to them because they're the ones that are making these pouches and they can give you a better set of knowledge than JVR Industries can. Now just note that they are really tough to get a hold of, um, so bear that in mind. They also are experts when it comes to Mylar as well. Okay guys, well thank you so much for tuning in on YouTube and checking out JVR Industries. We hope you found this video extremely informative and helpful. Feel free to hit that subscription button and the bell that will help notify you when we're launching new videos. And it will also help us know that people are enjoying these videos and what else we should be creating. So once again, guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys soon.